Hope you enjoy this clip, and if you do, please like and subscribe. Can you talk a little bit about why you ended up choosing Netflix? It's a new program, right? And I think there's like sort of an allure of like something new and shiny, you know? Yeah. And like it's not quite a diamond yet. Like it's it's in its way to becoming polished and polished and polished. But it's like what better way to like help men like give back to this upcoming new grad class, the third, fourth, fifth new grad class, mm -hmm. than to help like polish this mm -hmm. a little more. I think like I don't know if I'd be able to give feedback to the new like the new grad program, but like I think we have this opportunity to like make this program even better than what I currently see it as. Mm -hmm. um, so I think like with short programs like this, it's more malleable. Google's Microsoft's program has exist been existing for a lifetime. A lifetime. Yeah. So there's like less maybe like less change you can do for those, but because right. it's new, right, new and shiny, you get to polish it a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, so that was like one reason why I chose Netflix. Um, the second reason is just like the people I met along the Oh, that's so cliche, but people. the people I met along the way, like one of the interviewers, like really made me believe like, oh, this is a company I would want to work for mm. because she was talking about her managers mm. and her manager's manager and mm. her manager's manager manager. And it was this chain of women, like all women. And I was like, this is something very rare that you see in tech. Yeah. Like, especially like, like women in tech is rare, but women in leadership in tech, I was like, I, I remember I chain. Yeah. Leadership. It's like a chain of women. Yeah, like yeah. I remember I'm getting goosebumps right now, but I remember during that interview, I got extreme goosebumps and I told uh -huh. her I'm getting goosebumps of how powerful that is mm -hmm. that like really resonated with me mm -hmm. and the like my last my last interviewer um for the hiring manager like I resonated well with him too mm -hmm. and like this is just a small subset of like people and like granted they might be cherry-picked because to like show a great side of Netflix but mm -hmm. that's like a side of Netflix I would like I want to interact with and that's also a side of Netflix I want to be a part of nice yeah um and yeah, those people just like really left a really great impression on me. That's good. Um, and like it sort of ties into my third point, which is the culture deck. Um, and like those people are embodiments of that culture deck. Mm -hmm. And that culture deck, that culture deck is scary. Mm -hmm. Dream team implies you have to cut people. Like that's just the log land. Like you will have to cut people who don't fit that like mold of dream team. Mm -hmm. And it's not saying, oh, I will definitely fit into dream team because I might not even fit into dream team and I'll at least I'll recognize that. Mm -hmm. um, but like I, what Dream Team implies is that you, the people currently on the team are the best of the best mm -hmm. of the best of the best. And these are the people who like aren't the new grads who got paid to like be here at Netflix. Mm -hmm. So they're like gold. Yeah. And learning from the best of the best and like in including the upcoming new grad class, which um, like are hands picked by the best of the best. Mm -hmm. Like what better opportunity than it is to learn from them. Exactly. Netflix is, I feel like, the next step. Like, mm -hmm. the people around me will be, like, highly, like, working towards the same goal, and they're very motivated. And that environment to me is daunting, mm -hmm. but I'm, I'm excited to enter there.